Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial. Let's see how we can add a progress loading bar to data pages to enhance the overall user experience. Here's a live example of a search report. I have the progress loading bar enabled on both the search form and the results page. If I refresh this page, you'll see the loading bar. Also, if I click on search, once again, you'll see the loading bar appear before the results show up. This is a very simple implementation and one that really enhances the functionality of your applications. So rather than seeing a blank screen, your end users will know that something is happening behind the scenes. Let's see how we can incorporate a little bit of JavaScript to our data pages to create this behavior. Inside my account, I already have my data page created. If I click on preview at this point, you'll notice that at the moment, I don't have that progress bar loading. Also, if I click on search, once again, we don't see that loading progress bar. So let's learn how we can implement this. I'm going to close the preview tab, edit my data page, and let's navigate all the way to the configuration screen for the search interface. Once you get to this window, go ahead and insert a header and footer. And inside the header section, go to the advanced tab and disable the HTML editor. Click on the standard tab again, and you're going to have to paste a little bit of code that will be provided for you in the description of this video to use as is. However, if you want to manipulate the loading bar to something else, for example, a different color, you can download both files that are inside the description of this video, upload both files to your own hosting domain, and go ahead and manipulate some of the CSS in order to change the color of that loading bar. But if you want to use the solution as is, just go ahead and copy the instructions that are in the description of this video. Next, in the footer section, once again, go to the advanced tab, disable the HTML editor in the standard tab. Go ahead and just type out a closing div statement. Let me explain what the script is doing. Inside the header section, you can see how we're basically hiding this content in between two div tags by saying display none. So it's going to hide all of that content until the script is finished loading that progress bar. Let's also do the same thing for our results page. So let's click Next, add our header and footer inside the Advanced tab, disable the HTML editor, paste our code, and inside the footer section, once again, disable and add your closing div statement. Now when you click on Preview, you're going to be able to see the loading bar before the search interface. And if you click on Search, once again, you will see that loading bar before the results page shows up. You can also apply the same thing to your details page. I chose not to do that in this video. It's a fairly simple implementation. So if you do have a need for it in the details page, hopefully now you can implement that yourself. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, once again, please use the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also to subscribe for the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio. For additional videos and articles, visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching and good luck building your applications.